admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training is complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. You worked for Perseus, Bell. I know it's hard to believe, but Arash Kadavar 86 to you at that airfield in Turkey. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duva. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. <laughs> We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. In the end, no specific background really stuck with you. You resisted everything we tried, so we just kept it a mystery. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were a guinea pig for the CIA's MK Ultra program. They used me and Adler's missions in Vietnam to create new memories. Nothing brings people together like wartime. Instant family, brothers in arms.
No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. No, we've got Come a job. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenland Arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Sobolevsky. Safety This is your chance to define who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? The safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Fine. To make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
Their power's coming back on. Adler, you seeing this? Woods, we're running out of time. I gotta tell Hudson to launch. That's a big gamble if that gun ain't cleared. Hudson, start your bombing run. Copy that. Get your team out of there, Adler. Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last day. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Nothing in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently, the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover the remains of Agents Azalea and Park from the compound in Cuba. Their caskets are in transit to Tel Aviv and London, respectively. President Reagan personally reached out to their families. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. What about the rest of the team? 
They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Well, we did finally get Aldrich. Son of a bitch. Perseus's network is still intact, though, and they'll eventually rebuild. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed one of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. There's a couple left, and eventually they'll hit the sewer too. Well, you're a wordsmith, Hudson. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. <laughs>